Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be ranking the best free cards in NBA 2K23, my team here on this tier list. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 11,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day, and I would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Additionally, one thing I want to note before this video starts, really, is the fact that we have not been getting all that many great free cards as, as of late. We're pretty much getting the player-specific mode rewards, and that's about it over the past couple months in terms of grindable free cards and things like that which is kind of a shame would like to see more grindable stuff coming out but there really just hasn't been much of that lately so that is kind of unfortunate with that being said starting off with alonzo morning he's an absolute monster especially at the power forward position six tail with a seven six wingspan has elite sigs for a big a great release incredible stats and badges definitely an s tier guy one of the best cards on this list for sure billy knight comes in in a tier for me i think he's still a very very good shooting guard i don't think he's quite s tier level considering there's about 25 ish cards on this list i don't think he's top five but i think he is about top 10 on this list and still a very very good shooting guard option just a tiny bit undersized without the best player build but still a great card and a great shot creator danny fairy is going to go s tier for me i think he's amazing i think he's a top tier card still one of the better small forwards in the game in my opinion i still use him on my god squad as of right now i think he can play in a competitive situation he's big he moves well he can shoot he can pretty much do everything you can ask for out of a small forward uh, Dave Cowens, I think, is also S tier. I The thing about Dave Cowens, as well as Moses Malone and George Gervin, who I also include on this list, they're collector level cards, so they're like, they're technically free because you get them as rewards, but they're also hard to get, and they it generally would cost money to get to those cards so i wasn't totally sure if i should include them on this list or not i decided to because it gives a little bit more depth to the list but you may not consider them a free card if you don't i don't if you don't i apologize but i think that i had to put them on the list so i'm putting dave in s tier though i think he's one of the best small forwards in the game i think he's even better than Danny ferry to be completely honest i think he's an absolutely elite level card really really high on him as a small forward moses malone's going to be a tier i think really good power forward still solid release moves pretty well really good stats and badges of course very solid card not on the level of Alonzo Morning, but still a very good option and then George Gervin I think goes B tier he really doesn't do anything exceptionally well but he's very very solid all the way around and a pretty darn solid good card Franz Wagner I think goes B tier as well Franz is a really nice budget small forward or free small forward I guess like he's technically not budget he's a free card but uh, 6 out of 7 on wingspan good all around stats and badges defends pretty well good speed nice release moves pretty well has front clutches really solid all around card not quite next level elite but he's a very very good Gilbert Arenas is very undersized, but he is the best short PG in the game. So take that for what you will, because he is only six foot four, which is kind of small. But the stats and badges are really, really amazing, especially the offensive badges. O'Shea Brissett base with Oscar Upper is incredible. Sigs are really, really good. I don't love the Cur I mean, the Curry Escape is very good, but I prefer Trey Escape, but it's still very good. Uh, and the Quick Drops, I mean, he's going to be an incredible card, but he's so undersized at only six four. It's hard. Ah, nah, I'm going to move him up to B tier. I think I think he's good enough and big enough at six four, where he does deserve a spot pretty decent on this list just still got to go b tier for me gus gerard not a big fan i think he's pretty mid i don't know if he's quite bad enough to go d tier but i think he's definitely a c tier guy um though there are some bad some pretty bad cards in this list though so uh is he a bottom five he might be bottom five i don't know i'm gonna leave him d for now but i think he might wind up getting moved up to c hakeem's gonna go high a for me as well i'm not sure hakeem is s uh it's close. I don't think he is. I think there's two other guys I'd take over Akeem, to be honest. He's close. He's probably the highest in A tier, but I don't think with his release not being insane that he's an S tier guy. I think the three guys I have in S tier right now, I'd take over Hakeem. And I think there's a couple other guys in this list that I would also take over Hakeem, so he's going to have to go S tier. Herb Williams, if I remember correctly, this card stinks. The only reason I included him is because he's a new reward card this season. But uh, 610, 90 speed and excel, not a great shooter. Badges are okay, mostly finishing badges. Ooh, DeAndre Jordan based on normal. That's all I need to see. I was right. Card is ass garbage uh watch watch your words but uh isaiah thomas is six foot one doesn't have the best sigs or best release in the game he has to have literally the best of everything at six foot one if he's not going to be a d tier card and he doesn't so he's d tier jerry lucas another d tier guy all of these a lot of these season six reward cards are terrible jerry lucas is another bad one he doesn't have elite speed he has a jump shot that's on normal his sigs aren't incredible he has good stats and badges or decent stats and badges but he's a d tier guy as well not a very good card i think dr j honestly is still good enough where he's c tier I, and i think gus Gerard has to be moved up as well to be completely honest but i think dr j is decent like he's not the best in the world his stats and badges are a tiny uh, stats aren't really outdated badges are, i don't know if outdated is the right word but not the most complete in the world anymore his animations are okay not great i like his release but it is on normal so it's just not great in that aspect anymore either 
He's okay. He's pretty good. He's not insane. Uh, I'm going to go high B for KG simply because of the fact that we have so many really good cards still on this list. And I don't know if I can put KG above the guys in A tier or any of the guys in A tier. I don't think I can. So I'm going to have to put him in B tier. I think that's the fairest spot to put KG to be completely honest. He's got a really good release. He moves well. He's a very good defender. He's got good stats and badges. He's very similar to guys like Gilbert Arenas, Fons Wagner. Really good all around card, but there's a lot of good cards. And I don't know. I think I got to go B tier for him because I'm not taking over the guys in A tier. Larry Bird is terrible. He's D tier. That card sucks. Skip. Next. Bad. Uh, Malik Sealy's A tier, I think. 30 Hoffs at the shooting guard position. That's a 6 8 guy with a very good release. Really, really elite defender. Still a very, very good card. Mike Bantam honestly has to go B tier as well. As high as I am on the band man, I think he also has to go in that B tier. I just. I, he and KG are the two hardest ones for me. I think he's even better than KG. He's definitely better than KG. I think he's the best card in B tier, but is he better than the guys in A tier? I don't think so. I don't know. Really good card, but I just can't do it. Purvis Ellison's going to go A tier. He is better than Bantam. I think he's the second best card in A tier or third best card in A tier, depending on how you want to look at it. Um, he's a very good card, though, with really good SIGs, moves well, good release, really, really good all around option. I'm going to put Pete in high C. I just don't think he's quite that great anymore, to be honest. I think Gilbert's a better version. Um, another short PGU moves well, but I don't think he's quite as good as Gilbert or quite as complete as Gilbert. So, going to go C for him. Sean Livingston is S tier, still a top five borderline point guard, a borderline top five point guard in the game with a really good release, very good movement, uh, great SIGs, really good defense, solid size, an elite level free card for sure. Steve Smith is another exceptional elite level free card. That's another S tier guy for sure. No doubt about that one in my mind at all. Um, and then D Tim Duncan's going to go D tier. He sucks. That card's not good anymore. The two trophy case guys in Larry Bird and Tim Duncan are just not good anymore. And Tyler Hero, I think, goes high C as well. I don't think he's quite good enough to go B. I know he's a dark matter. I know he's got pretty good stats and badges. I don't love, love his release. I think it's a little slow, and he's also only six foot five, so a little bit undersized as well. So that is going to do it for this tier list these are my rankings of the best free cards in my team right now let me know what you think of my list down in the comment section down below if there's anybody you think i rank too high or too low or left off the list that you think does deserve a spot feel free to let me know about that as well uh, but i hope you all did enjoy the video if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all peace